What's up my friends? I'm Harv, I'm a videographer, and on this channel I make videos about videography. And in this video I'm going to be checking out the EOS Alpha LUTs from Eric Lenz Photography. Now these lookup tables promise a lot. Canon colour and contrast for Sony cameras? I'm kind of hoping it's sort of a best of both worlds kind of thing. You know, that primary colour, vibrant, sort of flattering colour you get with the, you know, really bold contrast coupled with that incredible dynamic range you get from Sony cameras. I want to, I'm curious, I want to see. Let's see if they're any good. I now have a non-profit Patreon for this channel, the idea being that with any funds I put back into the channel, I buy equipment, review it, and I give the gear away to backers. It's inexpensive to be a backer, just the cost of a cup of coffee. Uh, so if you enjoy this content and you like giveaways, all the information for this is down below. Plus all the links for everything else that I've mentioned in this video as ever in the description box below. Plus, I was able to get you a 10% code if you're interested in snapping up these lookup tables. Details below. What's more, I was able to get a copy of this to give away to my backers. Once again, information about that down below. So why would you want the Canon look? After all, there's a lot of good lookup tables out there. Well, four reasons, as far as I can tell. And the first one being the Canon Gamma Curve. It's a pretty aggressive curve, but gives a super punchy image. Here you can see a chart which compares the standard curves for Sony and Canon Rec. 7 and 9, and you can see the steeper curve that would produce more contrast. Second, the vibrant primary and secondary colours that you get with Canon colour. Canon tends to deepen the blues and greens by adding cyan to both of them. That results in vibrant skies and healthy greens, whilst creating a great contrast between the complementary colours, including skin tones. And skin tones are my third reason. Most would agree that Canon skin tones look pretty good. It's subjective, of course, but that's kind of, you know, the, the perception of video guys. The reason that they're so naturally good at sort of, you know, giving a flattering look on skin tones is the way they deal with hue curling. As the saturation increases, the reds tend to lean towards yellow and the yellows lean towards red, thus creating a really even looking skin tone. Finally, and my fourth thing is that Canon do something really well, which is luminance-based saturation. And that's where the highlights and shadows tend to be slightly less saturated than the midtones. Plus, there are some really interesting hue curls going on with the color. This is where certain colors, as they saturate, curl towards another color. It's just a really nice thing that contributes to a really kind of interesting image. In the pack, there are two basic styles of LUT, a lower contrast soft LUT, and a punchy standard LUT. You get versions for Sony linear Rec. 709 based profiles, ones for S-Log2 and then S-Log3. Each LUT has a standard exposure version and an exposed to the right version. And I should also say in the pack you are covered whether you shoot in S-Gamut or as it seems most people do these days, S-Gamut 3 Cine. So now let me show you the difference between the standard and soft LUTs that you get. Here is the punchy standard one. And then this is the soft version, which just seems to retain more detail in the shadows. It's softer. And then finally, the exposed to the right version. And really, this is just to give you a point of reference to show you how much darker it is. These days, I shoot almost exclusively S-Log3 on my Sony a7S III and a7 IV. So that's what I'm gonna do for all of the examples. So let me show you some before and after examples now. So in what situations are these LUTs going to be best for? I mean, they're fairly versatile as far as I can see, but in particular, I found them really good for landscapes. Anything with skin tones are going to look good. Without any kind of editing, they do add quite a bit of contrast. So it might not be so appropriate if you're shooting a scene which already has lots of contrast and you need, say, more shadow detail. But then you can always pair these lookup tables with curves 
to bring out details, and this is just magic when I tried it. Let me just show you a few examples. So here's part of the spectacular Clifton Suspension Bridge in my hometown of Bristol. And I'm just going to apply a color curve that looks like this. And of course, I've placed this before the lookup table in my chain of plugins. Now keep your eye on the sky and boom, hello highlight detail. Isn't that amazing? Here's another one, it's nicely exposed, but that overcast sky kind of looks a little bit blown out. But then by using the same instance of color curves, we can recover all of that detail. And this just further demonstrates what a good platform these lookup tables are for further tweakage. The colors I find very pleasing. They're very, um, very vibrant, very saturated and skin tones, as I mentioned, really pleasing. I'm not sure that I would class it as cinematic, but then what is cinematic anyway? That's completely subjective. What I can say is these lookup tables make stellar conversion lookup tables and give you a really good platform for further tweaking if, you, if you're so inclined. Certainly, as far as I'm concerned, much better than the S-Log3 to Rec.709 conversion lookup tables that you get from Sony. Have you guys tried that? I don't like it. So to wrap up, I really like these EOS Alpha LUTs. I should say the purpose of them is not to match, you know, your Sony camera with a, with a Canon. That's not the purpose. It's to capture the essence of what Canon footage looks like. And I think Eric has done a really good job. The really bold Canon primary color and punchy contrast is something that, uh, if I'm completely honest, as Sony shooters, we pretend not to be envious of the Canon look, but we are a bit, come on. I can see these LUTs just being sat alongside my favorites, you know, ones that I go to all the time alongside the Phantom Ari look LUTs. Um, they do very different jobs, so that, you know, they're gonna be for different purposes. The, the EOS Alpha LUTs are gonna be for, you know, for primary colors, accurate color, nice skin tones, that kind of thing. The Phantom LUTs, you know, they're gonna take you straight, you know, further towards the kind of the cinematic look straight away with that lovely highlight roll off and, um, and slightly lifted shadows. So yeah, I just, yeah. They're both great, I, I need them both. Anyway, that's it for now. I just hope you found this video interesting and helpful. On this channel, I have made hundreds of videos now about videography and audio, of which YouTube has recommended this video for you. And the one underneath is my most recent upload. Until next time, let's help each other out and shoot better video. See you guys.